What is up guys, today we have the Smolnet SR5 Automatic Pool Skimmer here and this is actually really great. Before we actually get into this review, I want to mention that this was actually given to me for free to review. Yes, I told them I'll do it as long as I'm still able to tell them features that I like about it and features that I don't like, if any. So keep that in mind, but I hope this review actually helps. So the Smolnet SR5 here, this is an automatic pool skimmer. So what's an automatic pool skimmer? Well, they're designed to be placed inside of your pool and it floats on the top surface of your pool. It'll move around and basically capture all sorts of debris, small, medium, large debris, twigs, branches, whatever it is on the top surface, even small fine debris particles like pollen, like sand, like bugs, and even hair, it'll pick that all up. And the whole idea is that it picks up that debris on the top surface before it actually has a chance to sink down to the bottom of the floors. And then thus, it keeps your pool cleaner longer. And this works amazingly well for that reason. Now, one thing I really want to point out about these automatic pool skimmers is no matter which brand you get, the fact is they are not standalone cleaners. Don't expect to buy just an automatic pool skimmer, put it in your pool and expect it to do 100% of the work. It doesn't work that way. What this really works well to do is basically to be used as an extra tool in terms of your pool cleaning needs. What this really does well is basically keep your pool longer so you don't have to physically automatically brush your pool. What I mean is this, basically when you use this skimmer, you won't get as much debris at the bottom of your pool, but you still get debris at the bottom of your pool. Bacteria will breed underneath the water and you still will need to actually physically somehow scrub that surface. Whether you use a pool vacuum and manually vacuum it up or use an automatic robotic pool cleaner, that'll work as well like I do, I use that and you still have to use that in the pool. This is not a standalone cleaner. What it does do really well is when you're using this and a robotic pool cleaner, it lowers the amount of time I actually have to put a cleaner in the pool to actually scrub the surface. I'm going from basically using a robotic pool cleaner every single day to with this now in the pool, I use it maybe once a week, once every other week. So it really does lower the amount of frequency at which I actually use my robotic pool cleaner. Now, let's actually talk about Smonet here. You probably never even heard of Smonet. They're not a new company. They've been around since 2010, but they focused on other products. They've been in home security, security cameras, smart doorknobs, things like that. But this is actually the first year they've designed these pool products. And this one right here, the SR5 Automatic Pool Skimmer, works really well. It actually won the 2024 French Design Gold Award. Yes, in another country. I'm in the United States right here. And I can't imagine a pool in another country being that much different than a pool here in the United States. So it's really nice that they actually won that award there. So let's actually talk about this SR5 right here. What makes this a very good choice in terms of an automatic pool skimmer? Well, first off, let me talk about how inexpensive this is. This is the least expensive automatic pool skimmer on the market right now. I've used a ton of pool skimmers. I've used the Beta SE, the Beta SE Plus. I've even used the Surfer S1, and they're all very good automatic pool skimmers. But they're a little bit more expensive than this one here. You can get this on sale pretty much between $50 to $100 off compared to those other brands. So that's actually really nice. Now physically, if you take a look at this, look at this bright blue color here. It really does grab your attention. Basically, when it's in the pool, I know it's in the pool because of how bright it is. In terms of physical weight, this is a lightweight pool skimmer. The lightest pool skimmer that I've actually used to date. Basically, this comes in about 10 and a half pounds, which is actually lighter than those 14 and 15 pound skimmers that I've used that also work really well. Now, one downside to the fact of this being lighter is that it is not as big, so it doesn't pick up as much debris. You'll notice in a little bit how big the debris basket is. It's not as big as those other brands. Physically right here, you have a nice little handle to grip onto right there. On the sides, you can see these little spinny wheels right here. These are what actually guide it in the pool and they act as bumpers too when it actually hits the wall of your pool. Right here on the back right here, you can actually see these right here. These are the actual propellers here and they're actually attached to the motors at the bottom right here. And I want to point out, these motors are actually corrosion resistant. So this means that whether you use a pool with chlorine or use a saltwater pool, you know that it's actually corrosive to cleaners, devices in your pool like floaters. It will break down over time. These motors are actually corrosion resistant, so it won't break down nearly as fast. So that means it'll last a long time. Awesome. Another neat little trick is that if you ever see this actual skimmer in the pool and it's stuck, not moving, you want to check these propellers first to make sure that there's no branches or anything stuck in it. Now, let me actually flip this around here to show you this side right here. Over here, on both sides right here, 
you can actually see those are LED kind of indicators. It'll blink a different color depending on how it is moving in the pool. Over here, right here, and right over here, you have the ultrasonic sensors. These are actually what help it move along the pool. It does move in a pattern along the pool, but what's really nice is it has an obstacle avoidance system in conjunction with these sensors here. So what it does is when it senses a wall or an object, it'll actually start to turn and move around it. If it ever gets stuck in a corner somewhere, a pool pole, for example, it'll actually be able to back itself out and get out of it. It never gets stuck in one spot. So that's actually really awesome. Really cool, it has sensors built in. Now, at the bottom right here, you have the debris basket right here. Let me go ahead and pull it out right here. This is not a latch. You just basically pull it forward just like that and you slide it out and you can see right here, this is a pretty good size debris basket. Means you won't have to empty it out nearly as often. I do want to mention though that this is actually smaller than other types of skimmers I've used. I want to say that this is about three liters in size. Other skimmers are about five liters in terms of size. So you will have to empty this out a little bit more often. Now the design of this, there is no handle you can grip onto as well. It's basically a slide in and out. You see there's these little kind of edges right here. These, these are what actually slide into the actual cleaner right here. And it takes a little getting used to, but basically inside of this, there are little grooves that you slide this into. Just like this until it snaps all the way to the back right there. It does take some getting used to pulling it in and out, but after you get used to it, it's very simple. Now, let me talk about this right here, the solar panel here. And what's great about this actual skimmer is the fact that during the swim season, three to five months out of the year, when you turn this on, it can actually be charged with that big giant solar panel here. This means that basically you leave it in the pool, it'll clean and pick up all that debris in your pool and you never really have to touch it except when you're emptying the debris out. That's awesome. But now you're asking, what about the rest of the year when it's cloudy outside, when you have no sunshine at all to actually power the solar panel? Well, let me flip this around right here and show you right over here. See this little piece right here? This is your charging port right here. And it actually comes with an actual adapter right here that you plug into that charging port right down there. And it actually works really well to basically charge your actual cleaner while there's no sun outside. So that's actually awesome. Two ways to actually fully charge this. This means that instead of just being able to use it with the power of the sun three to five months out of the year during swim season, you can use this pretty much any time during the year, all year long. Now, another really cool feature about this cleaner in particular that I haven't seen on other cleaners is the fact that right over here, you can actually select a different mode. There are two modes to this, basically two speeds. You have your normal mode, which moves at a normal pace cleaning the actual pool, but then you have another mode here called sport mode. And what that does is it actually kicks up the speed and it goes faster. It's actually pretty cool. It'll work perfectly fine in normal mode and it'll go about cleaning your pool. But if you're in a rush, if you need to do a little bit of spot cleaning, sport mode is actually very useful. For instance, if I'm throwing a party and I have a lot of debris in the pool unexpectedly because I haven't been using this, maybe it's been in the fall, basically been in stores this whole time and I need to get rid of that debris in the pool. Basically, I can turn this on, switch it to sport mode and it'll quickly move about the pool to actually clean it up. That's a really cool feature for you to actually target the actual cleaning in a faster pace. No other cleaner right now has two speeds, so that's actually really nice. Now, let's actually talk about what this cleaner does not do, what it doesn't have compared to other cleaners here. Basically, the Beta SE Plus and the Hyper Surfer S1. This is less expensive than those versions there, yes. But what it does is, it doesn't have a physical remote control. Those other two brands, they actually have a physical remote control or an app that you can use to actually physically control your cleaner. This one, you can't control your cleaner at all. No remote at all. So if you want a automatic pool skimmer with smart features to be able to control it through the actual app, this doesn't have that as well. This is just a really great plug and play automatic pool skimmer. Turn it on, put it in the pool and let it do its job. Just keep it simple and it works really well for that reason and at a lower cost. So remember that. So I've actually talked a lot about this actual cleaner here. Let's go ahead and put this into the pool and I'll show you how well it works. Okay guys, I'm ready to put the actual skimmer into the pool. Don't toss it into the pool. Just set it in lightly just like this. And let it go and do its thing. Okay guys, so the SR5 is in the pool right now. You can actually hear there is a little noise to the motor here. Pay attention. It's not too bad, but it is a little bit of noise there. But what I want to point out is how it actually moves in the pool. This is on normal mode right now. And you can see I'm approaching a wall right here, or it's approaching a wall. And what it does is it'll actually start to turn. Just take a look at it before it actually hits the wall. See, it's actually turning right now. 
it's because of those sensors that it's able to detect the wall and get out of it basically to avoid it but sometimes it will still hit the back you can see the bumper right there but that's why you actually have a bumper to actually hit the wall so that's actually really nice it's able to turn out of the actual wall it doesn't hit it full frontal head on and there it goes moving along the pool again it's in normal mode right now so this is normal speed right here i'll change it to quick mode in just a second here but i just want to point out that when it actually reaches walls it's able to slow down and get around it so that's actually really nice you can see again that it's actually about to approach the wall over there on that side you'll be able to see it slow down and turn right there it's actually starting to turn right now you can see that before it actually hits the wall just like that doesn't hit the wall head on there so that's actually really nice and there it goes continuing forward to actually skim the surface of the actual pool it's able to skim the top of my tanning ledge as well I know that once it actually gets close to this actual wall right here it'll slow down and turn you can see right now it is turning right now so it's going to avoid the actual wall and not hit it completely sometimes it'll actually hit it the wall with a little bumper little guide wheel on the side but a lot of times it won't so that's actually really nice it's able to reach my tanning ledge over here too which is actually more shallow than the rest of the pool doesn't get stuck there's a little bit of debris right there hopefully you can actually see it soak it up my pool is actually pretty clean unfortunately no more wind no more leaves right now we're getting towards swim season so that's actually really great it just picked up that debris right there so that's awesome and there it goes basically cleaning the rest of my actual pool here all right guys so this corner right here this is my steepest step just take a look right there it's about only half and half a foot of actual water and it actually reaches it like that this is a corner right here remember it's able to reverse out if it gets stuck so pay attention right here it's actually basically doing a 360 to turn itself around those sensors are really kicking in let's take a look at it it's beeping right there the led indicator right there the sensors right there on the side and it's able to get itself out of that corner it was going to be stuck in a corner but it's not it's going to move itself free eventually and it's going forward right now awesome all right guys so i'm just going to quickly grab it right here and change the mode here to quick mode or sport mode basically and now it should actually take off and go twice the speed here and yeah it's actually moving quicker than it was before I can actually see the propellers moving faster, so that's nice. And it still acts the same way. As you can see, there's a wall right there. It'll be able to sense it, slow down. It slows down right there, and it's turning again to get out of that actual wall there. So it still acts the same way, even on quick mode or sport mode. And there it goes moving along the pool there and it does move quicker in this mode here not super fast like I was expecting it to be but it's faster than it was in normal mode okay guys so here's a quick look at the SR5 in the pool it is automatically skimming the pool surface here and unfortunately I don't have too much debris in the pool but you can really see how well the SR5 moves along the actual pool now it approaches a wall or a corner and it's actually able to sense it with the ultrasonic sensor and get itself out of the way there are two speeds to this normal and sport mode you can see right here i grab it and i switch it to sport mode look at it it actually gets pretty fast it's not double the speed or anything like that but it is faster and it's really nice if you come out and you want to 
quickly clean the actual pool. You can turn it to the sport mode and it'll move faster along the pool to pick up debris. But overall, it's a really great inexpensive pool skimmer here and I'm actually quite shocked as to how well it works. Definitely a really good choice here. Okay guys, so I have the SR5 taken out of the pool right here. Now take a look at how clear my pool is here. All that debris on the surface is pretty much gone. Now I'm gonna pull this out right here and show you the basket. Just take a look right there. Look at all the different size debris here, and particularly the smaller debris, the very fine, small debris right here. Let me actually pick some up and show you. It picks up very small particles here. Sand, pollen, hair, it picks that all up. So that's actually really nice. And I do want to mention that before I actually used the skimmer, I thought the pool surface was actually pretty clean. Apparently it wasn't. Just take a look at all that fine debris right there. So that's awesome. Definitely a really good choice here. So overall, you can see that the SR5 here actually works really well. It'll do a really great job to capture all that debris in your pool before it sinks down to the bottom of the floors there. If you're looking for a really simple way to keep your pool clean all year long, not just in the summer, but you can actually charge it with the power of the sun and you can actually plug it into an outlet to charge it. If you want two speeds to the actual cleaner here, if you're looking for an inexpensive lightweight version, then this is actually a very good choice. This SR5 here is definitely an automatic pool skimmer. I recommend. We hope this review helps.